Hey guys, Mason here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you all how to get Russo's Sword of Truth. So yeah, let's get right into this. So first you just want to spawn in a boat or make a boat, whatever you need. But yeah, actually, I forgot to tell y'all. So the sword is in the game Build a Boat. So yeah, just go to Build a Boat, check it out. Yeah. So build your boat, click launch. Then you just want to go over to here, go over there. There is a waterfall over there. Go to the one on the left. Yeah, I am in my friend's VIP server. So yeah, so in your server, someone might have already activated the stuff and stuff. So yeah, that you probably might not need to do this, but if you still do, I shall show you. So yeah, you want to go over here, right there. You can just hop out of your boat. It doesn't the water doesn't move and it doesn't kill you. So go right here, jump in. Yes. So what you want to do? You want to hit these in a certain order. But before you hit them, you want to activate this, or else things are gonna drop down and kill you. Like for an example, I click this, boom, fills up, and I die. So yeah, you want to open this first before you do it. So yeah, if you die, just drive back over to the waterfall. Don't know what he's doing. Yeah, over here, jump back in, and yes. So to open this one, you want, yes, to open this one right here, you want to go yellow, red, uh, pink, cyan, then this green right here. Boom. So that opens. If you want, you can run in. If you jump, you can collect this doll, like touch it and it will pop up on your screen I already collected it so yeah what you want to click you want to click this yellow one click and this one this one then you want to come down here and click this one then this one this one this one then over here then black purple black now it should open yes see the walls going behind then this thing pops out so it's gonna angle itself right there and it's gonna shoot shoot out bottles yes so it shoots out shoots out bottles you're supposed to go and collect them but you don't have to because you're supposed to collect them to find the code but we already have the code look at those but yeah then over here a floor will open up you can just jump down there so then down here you see if you click the lever it doesn't work that's why you need the code and i will tell y'all the code so in the middle one you want to put like this little shape all around the corners like a like a frame so yeah then you want to put a straight line down the middle and towards the bottom put two dots and that so it looks like a sword and it would turn green if you did it correctly then for brown you just want to write an R so just like that you write an R and if you did it correctly it should turn green then for the blue one, all you want to do, you want to write a B, but you want to outline the B. So, like that. Yes. Now, now this is the exciting part. If you come down here, boom, the lever works. This thing will light up. Ooh. 
and a portal will open. So you want to go jump into the portal and it's going to make you spin like crazy. Oof. This is the exciting part. But yeah, it will take you to a secret game. And then you win. You can go grab the sword. <gasps> Psych. You can't get it yet. You gotta take a boss battle. Cause he's mad. He's a mad boy. Yes. Now you gotta do this whole boss battle. It takes like um seven ish minutes to complete. Not not very long. Yes. Now you have to dodge these. They don't they don't kill you instantly. They just do some damage. So yeah, if you get hit by a ton of them, then yeah, you will die. But you won't die if you just touch one of them. So yeah, you just want to dodge all of these. Then it would do that, which is pretty hard. So, boom, run over here. Done. Run over here. Boom. And now... Done. Right. This doesn't go on for too long. No, I just took quite a bit. Actually, not very much damage. But yeah, then these things will come. We'll want to jump over them. Just like that. Boom. Jump. Jump. Then you want to jump on these. Because it's doubled. So you gotta jump over them. Then I'll go back down. You gotta run over to a new one. Then jump over, grab a new one, jump over. This kind of seems like the Easter boss. If y'all fought the Easter boss in this game during Easter. But yeah, then this one, you can't do anything, I believe. So you just gotta accept it. Right? Boom. Yeah, the four will fall, that is easy. You see these, it wants you to dodge them, but you don't have to. You can just get to the edge right here. See, like, if I get to the edge. No! I messed it up. You don't have to get too far. See, like, if I get to the edge right here, they can't touch me. So I can just chill here until they all go past. Yeah. But yeah, if you fall... You, you don't die instantly, it just does some damage and tosses you back up. So yeah. And it heals you after some rounds. Which is very nice. He's mad. He's a mad boy. Oh yeah. And apparently everyone has their own finger. So if you're doing this with like three other people, they won't see, see this finger following you. They will have their own that follows them. Yeah, or you could just boop. See right here? You want to jump right before it shoots. Jump. Yes. Slowly turns orange. And boom. It stays orange for like half a second. So in that time, you can jump. Or if you don't want to jump, you can just run to the side while it shoots. See, whenever it's about to shoot, you can just run to the side. Now it's going to start cutting it off, and it's going to narrow it down to, like, two lines. Alright. So yeah, I prefer to do this by myself, because it is kind of harder. Oh, I messed up on that one. It is kind of harder with other people. Unless you're on like a call and you can tell them what to do because I will show you in one second. So this is gonna chop down. Boom. Dodged. So yeah, after this is gonna take off one more line. Then it will be done. So yeah, right now you kinda have to dodge it or just get hit. So yeah, boom, take those off. 
And then we'll shoot one last one. Done. Now he's probably gonna bring the smashing thing, his hand. Maybe. Possibly. Yep. So yeah, this, you kinda wanna control where it hits. Because you don't want it to just hit like anywhere and have like random spots around. So me, I like controlling where it hits. So I'm just going to take off the whole back end over here. And whenever it turns red, you want to jump off. Now I want it to hit over here. And turn red, jump off. Right here. Turn red, jump off. Ooh, almost fell in the water there. Ready, turn red, jump off. There, now it's going to shoot a hand. This one, you can't jump over it. Whenever it goes back, you want to run to the side. See, like it's going to go back, then go forward. Boom, run to the side. Easy. So it's going to do this a couple of times. And easy. All right, he's still mad. So I will show y'all what to do on the last one. This might be the last one. I think it is. But yeah, for this one, you want to go over here and you want to get him to hit the self-destruct button. Now he freaks out because he's hit his own self-destruct button. And boom. Explosion. And he died. Now it was hit like this for like 10 seconds or whatever. And there we go. Oof. What is it? Where did the TV mess with it on the water or something? But yeah, now you can grab the sword. It will automatically give it to you with 200 gold. I already collected it, so it will give you the sword in your inventory and a badge will pop up down here. So yeah, pretty nice. Then the portal opens so you can just head back and yeah. So now you can go to your inventory, equip the sword, and look cool. Yeah. That's going to be all for today. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video.